this edition of your high school sports is championship week. There's some huge games that mean a lot that this week, Chris. There's two of them definitely that we need to really talk about. We'll get into it. Got some coaches interview from Coach Courtney from Farragut and Wes Jones. We talked to him too because that is a big game this week. All right. Buddy's Barbecue sponsors this segment coming up right here. It's across the region, across the region, across the nation, and around the region. Across the region. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, across the region, what's happened this week, uh, like I said, we're going to take place across the nation or around the nation as well. We want to talk about the musket bowl. Now, we hyped it all up last week, and I'm yeah, trying to tell you, it lived up to the building. I said, when you go to Crockett, it's like going to a big party. I mean, they got the music system blasting, people are dancing and clapping, there's a lot of excitement in the air. But my goodness, you had to be there early. Had a good friend, Tony, he and his wife, his wife went to Crockett. They couldn't make it. They couldn't get Not in. because they left at six, which is still hour and a half early, but they got caught in the traffic downtown. There's only, it's, it's just two lanes, I'm pre pretty much one way in, one way out. So I left about 4.30, got there at 5.45, no, excuse me. It's 15, yeah, 545. I had to wait in line for about 20 minutes before we could get parked. It was Whoa, that bad. So anyway, okay. let's get into it. TV game, of course, CYB was there. But this game, I mean, it had all that you wanted. Larkins, of course, at quarterback at Crockett. He got things started, and they struck first and put points on the board. And it looked like it was going to be one of those shootouts like Chris Blevins was talking about. And, of course, uh, Daniel Boone, they, they was able to answer. And uh, Crockett went up 14-7. And it kind of floated there for a while to where it was becoming a real strong battle. But Crockett could have went up 21-7 if they wouldn't have thrown an interception just before the half. So that kept Boone in the game and gave them new life. So when they come back out, you know, Crockett's business as usual, they're putting points on the board. They get a two touchdown lead. But you know what? I was feeling comfortable. I was feeling comfortable. I had my son with me. I said, let's go, because I want to beat the traffic. And we beat the traffic. And as soon as I walked out of the stadium, literally as soon as I walked out of the stadium, <laughs> touchdown, boom, Charlie Cole. I told you. One handoff, one play later, after a two touchdown lead, he marches 75 yards down for a touchdown. And I was like, oh my goodness, we got a game. <laughs> and it got wild. Actually, that's when the game really began. Now, they're still up one touchdown. Larkins throws an interception. Again. And this time, the quarterback, I told you, he's, not, he's, he's something nice. He can run. He blitz for about 50-plus yard touchdown. Guess who's in the lead? Boom. Boom. But you know you got Larkins and you got Hagler there to throw to, and he did a nice 41-yard play touchdown. Puts him up the lead. A little over two minutes left. But guess what? Boone's not going away. Now, they've been stumbling and having trouble the whole game, but they take it down with 12 seconds left, and they do some kind of razzle-dazzle double pass play and fumble that up or whatever, and Crockett recovers, and musket bowl champions go to Davy Crockett. Look out. Look out. <laughs> Buddy's Barbecue around the nation and across the region, the musket bowl. You should have been there. When we come back on your high school sports, going to catch up with Bart Lyons, and we're going to have some coaches interview so make sure you stay right here on your high school sports because we're coming right back get the right services you need from a name you can trust at crescent center drugs whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu pneumonia or shingles crescent center drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you that's why for many years crescent center drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. Welcome back to Your High School Sports. Now on the line with us is Bart Lyons, our correspondent in the Northeast. Bart, you guys are setting this one out this week, but what about last week? You guys... A nail biter with Jeff County. Tell me something good about Science Hill. I tell you what, Science Hill, we, we got that win. We got it back up, up the road there. Uh, uh, Spencer Riley really had his guys dialed in. The Jeff County Patriots, man, they really, they really balanced from, from start to finish. And uh, had, a, had a super performance from our, our running back, Chris Thomas, who, uh, who again, got, uh, got 100 yards rushing. And I think it was a. Great game was 100 plus, and uh, he's, he's had a 
had over a thousand yards rushing this season, and our offensive line, uh, they played as well as you could play. So kudos to those guys up front for the Science Hill offensive line. You know, when when you play a team, you know, you guys are off getting ready for the playoffs because you guys know you're in the playoffs. But was there any letdown against Jeff County? I don't know. I just think they were prepared. Uh, you know, from time to time, we'll, we'll, we'll have some difficulties with the offense or defenses. And, and, uh, and sometimes uh, uh, the other teams take advantage of it. And, uh, even in a special teams game uh, Friday night, we had, we had a letdown and uh, it cost us. We had, we had a, a guy run, run a touchdown back on a kickoff and uh, we were surprised. But these guys are dialed in and uh, quarterbacks are really playing a lot better than they played first the season. And and uh, we've we got some playmakers that are finally stepping up and answering the, answering the call whenever uh, we need to make a big play. So I think these guys will be dialed in. They'll be focused. They'll be ready for the playoffs. Hey, have you got any comments on the 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 Crockett Boone game? Talk a little bit about that. That was a big game last Friday. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook. I've seen a lot of video highlights, and uh, both Jeremy Jenkins and uh, Hayden Chandler, that they had their guys primed and ready to go. That was a big, big football game for Washington County. Congratulations to the Pioneers for. Uh, for again, get another another win, and, and Hayden's done a great job uh, with those pioneers, and, and and you know there's a lot of pioneer pride going on down there at David Crockett High School. I know Josh Kite and John Good and all those guys involved there at uh, at David Crockett High School. I know they're proud of their guys. And hey, listen, David Boone had, they have a, a great team as well. So. Their season, both for Boone and Crockett, uh, there'll be plenty more ball games down the road for these guys. Yeah, they will be. All right, Bart, I know you guys are off this week, like we said earlier, but where do you go at? What do you do now? Do you go scout somebody, or what do you do? Just wait on the the, the games to end Friday night. We just, we, we're just going to relax this Friday night. Where I think everybody's going to go different directions and check out different games and and uh, our guys are going to get some rest, and they'll be dialed up. And we'll come back in on, on Sunday and start game planning for the first round of the playoffs. And, you know, hopefully it's, uh, it's a higher seed and, and uh, Berger can take care of business and uh, get ready to go. I know, man, we've got great leadership with Coach Carter, and we got some guys that are, uh, that are just now finally starting to, to, to buy into the program. If we can get more buy-in from the guys we got, Rod, we'll be very successful. All right. What's that What's that phrase you always tell us? Hey, guys, as always, go toppers. All right. We'll be right back here on your high school sports in a moment. I'm on the line now with head coach of the Farragut Admirals. They're getting ready to face a big game this Friday night against Hardin Valley. Coach, set this game up for us, would you? We're going to go this week 10, Rodney, and, you know, we got a chance again for a region championship. You know, two weeks ago, we played a very good Bearden team, and they beat us. But that uh, kind of knocked us into a tie for State, had to win out. And then this past week, you know, Hardin Valley was able to win another big game against Bearden. So now do it back to us and have a chance to play hard and valley for it. So it is a big game. Uh, it's been that way all year. Just each week you have to step up and play. And now I'm on the line with head coach of the Hardin Valley Hawks. Had a great victory last weekend to put themselves to maybe win a conference championship. Right, coach? Yeah, we played ourselves back into position to uh, – to be in a title game and put herself in position to possibly post a playoff game, but uh, it's a big game. Still got a lot of work in front of us. We have to continue to stay focused and stay hungry and, and, and just continue to get better each and every day we're out there. 
Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Big play, big game performers up in upper northeast Tennessee. And this week we had a lot of great ones. We just talked about Hackler there, the receiver for Crockett. He had an excelling game. Three touchdowns, 13 receptions for 168 yards. And, of course, the man throwing it to him, that's quarterback Kay Larkins. Nothing but nice. Four yards short of 400 yards, four touchdowns. And you can't forget the man who kept the game interesting, Mr. Charlie Cole. 100. Now they stopped him. Until the end, they had him under 100 yards until he had a big 75-yard touchdown for 172 for the night. Plus, let's move on over to Greenville. Cade Ballard, always nothing nice. 11 for 12, 275 yards, four touchdowns. And you know he's got a lot of weapons to throw to. And this week, Cameron Height. Hey, nothing nice, man. He was two touchdowns, four receptions, 129 yards. And then, of course, the guy, Mr. Do-It-All, Corey Russell for the Elizabethan Cyclones as they make sure they stay in second place in the conference by defeating South. He was nothing nice, but, hey, four touchdowns. What do you think? Uh, Johnson County, Nathan Lane, this is a guy we've talked about a lot. He had it all over the place, too. Three interceptions, and he had ended the game with a pick six for the win. And he also had a touchdown rushing. A. So you got to give him credit with the big win over Cloudland. Now we move on to Happy Valley. Well, Dakota Cochran, who was once a running back, now playing quarterback, and hey, he still knows what to do with the ball. Four touchdowns. And he also had a, uh, well, one of them was from a botched field goal. So, I mean, hey, big night for him. And of course, Science Hill, Chris Thomas. He stays consistent at that 150. You hear me say 150 a lot. 152 yards, three touchdowns, and then finally, let's just give it up for the Sullivanese Patriots. Got their first win over Sullivan North, and those are the big play or big gamers for this week. Big game performance for this week. I want to throw one in there. Okay. A shout out to Harden Valley for right. beating Beer. Oh, big time win. Win. That's kind of messed things up. But it sets things up. It sets things up. <laughs> That's why we just flow right on into the Ball Corporation Games of the Week. You talked about Thursday night's game, Oak Ridge Fulton mm -hmm. on VLT. There you go, Mark. I'm throwing out another game for you. VLT. Go to your local listings and check out that. That should be a game. Oak Ridge and Fulton both are playing good, mm -hmm. getting ready. That's a game, Chris, I would not want to play right now. I'm going to the playoffs, mm -hmm. not a good time. Well, not a good you, time. You want me to go ahead and make my pick? Make your prediction. Okay, my prediction. Oak Ridge, good record. They both have one loss. Oak Ridge, of course, lost to Farragut. Fulton, or, uh, Fulton lost to Maryville. Mm -hmm. uh, well respected. But Oak Ridge, I've been looking at their scores and you know they're they're winning but not no. as convincingly as Fulton so I get us from the Fulton. Do you give us Fulton? Uh, here's another one, the one you just talked about. Player of the game, play big play performance. Johnson County Unicoi. That's for a conference championship. Oh boy, Johnson County Unicoi. Both teams have been playing some exciting ball this year. It's exciting to see these two teams play for first place. And you know what? This is going to Unicoi. That's where it's going to be played. But you know, I think Johnson County may have just a little more push. So when they come off that mountain, they're going to land it on the Blue Devil. All right, South Green and Happy Valley, another conference Ooh, championship. South Green and Happy Valley. I believe the Cyclones played up with South Green earlier in the year. I think yeah, I they did. They did. And South Green looked actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Elizabeth took care of them. Happy Valley's kind of been struggling in and out, but they, you know, done well enough in the conference to make this 
a, a possible three-way tie, I believe, if they win. But anyway, I think South Green is going to hold undefeated in the conference. South Green. All right. Farragut, we heard from Coach Courtney. Farragut versus Harden Valley. We heard from Coach Wes Jones. What a game, Chris. From Harden Valley beating Beard and just kind of threw the, the cards up in the air and let's let them fall. Oh, boy. And you know what? This conference, you know. <laughs> It, it's, it, I mean, it's like a toss-up. I mean, you, it doesn't matter if you're first or last. Yes. Anybody can lose on any Friday. That was that proven really? last week when Farragut took on Hardin Valley, who wasn't doing so well, yeah. but upset at Farragut. No, Beard. Beard. Oh, well, yeah, Beard Hardin Valley. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about last year. I was just, yeah, just comparing oh, yeah, how the yes, conference yes, 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 yes. Hardin Valley was last. Farragut was first, and Hardin yeah. Valley upset him. So, yeah. This year, a lot of parody. Yes, it Once is. again, yes, like you is. said, they're beating up each other. The big surprise win last week was put Farragut in this must-win situation. And like you was talking about earlier, you said if Farragut loses, what? They'll finish third. <laughs> Can you believe that? Been first all year. I've been first all year. But the way things have worked out, with if Farragut wins, they're number one. Mm -hmm. Number two would be Bearden. Bearden, okay. And then Hardin Valley, then Science Hill still in there. Wow. If Hardin Valley wins, Hardin Valley's first, Science Hill is second. Okay. Farragut would be third, third. and Bearden would be fourth. Wow, that's all mixed up. So they're all going to be on their so, so, like, like Mark Line said, you do not want to have to go to Maryville first game on the buck. No, no. So you don't want to finish fourth. No. So you, you want me to go ahead and give my pick? Give your pick. I think with Farragut understanding what's at stake and knowing and remembering what happened to them last year in a similar situation, because, you know, if Farragut, by them losing last year, that actually opened the door for Science Hill, but they ended up tanking yes. to a team that was yes. in last place. Yes. So Co Coach Courtney said, forget all this. We're not doing all this, this, that, whatever. Let's just win. And I believe that's what they're going to do. Just and win. Basically, that's what he said on the, just, in the interview. Just win, just win and then we we'll won't have to worry exactly. about it. Exactly. We're in first. We remain in first. Win. Take care of business. Win. Take care of Take care of business, Coach Courtney. And... A game, I want to throw this out there because this is for Blevins. He's not here. Okay. But Cock County made the playoffs. Cock County. They beat Morristown East last week. They got it. For a winning season. So we, you're happy. <laughs> hey. Blevins is happy, too. Well, I was but, on that train last year up to midseason. But uh, but they're in. Not this year. They, they proved themselves. They're in, though. They're in the playoffs. Maybe. Go ahead, Cock County. You're in the playoffs. Shout out to Cock County. Yeah. All right. A quick rundown on our top ten. Your high school sports top ten. Start from the bottom. Greenback comes in at number 10. Oak Ridge, number 9. Davy Crockett still in at number 8. Elizabethan, number 7. Powerful Anderson County, number 6. Knoxville Farragut, number 5. Fulton, number 4. Mighty Mighty Maryville Rebels, number 3. You got to give it out to Kate Ballard and Kane Ballard and all the Greenville Green Devils. They're ranked number 2. And number 1, still number 1. Until they go down, till they go down, is Alcor Tornadoes. Coach Rankin's got his team playing at a high level. And it's not going to stop. No. That's a goal ball. Can I go ahead and mark that? Yeah. Goal ball. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Goal ball. That's right. And next week, we kick off playoffs. Blevins will be back. Playoffs will begin next weekend. Chris, it's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. And you know what? I know we got a lot to talk about next week with the playoffs, but I want to before time oh, is out. Bring down the balloons! <laughs> it's somebody's birthday! Woohoo! Bring all the music, bring all the song and dance, bring all the good I gotta bring a little small cake this year because I understand that you, uh, yeah, you got a little addition there. Alright, so what we got here, we got a little mini cake here because I understand that you're not a little big cake. So what we're gonna do. Uh, this was from Crowns and Crust. Actually, this is out here in uh, Sevier County up in the Blades. So. Oh, Crowns and Crust. That's what they're called. Oh, see. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we got a crowd, y'all coming out. We're going to see you. Come on over. Okay. okay, well, let's, <laughs> well let's somebody, somebody come out. And uh, we're going to light the candle, which is. Uh, you got uh, all right, there it is. All right, here we go. Come on, you'll sing for me. Thank you. Three, two, happy birthday. This is not a song. Say to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday, oh. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, thank All you. Right. I 
tell you, y'all, you always do something. <laughs> always. <laughs> that's strong. Don't tell that. That's my candle. <laughs> All right. So as we get ready for the playoffs next week, Chris Blevins will be back with us. For Chris Reddick, I'm Roddy Woods, and we'll see you next week right here on your high school sports. Don't set me up, make me do a solo. Nobody wanted to see. I'm sorry. <laughs> the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center.